aim to collect soil from two different sites and study their water holding capacity materials required soil samples garden site soil and the road site soil then we require the measuring cylinders two measuring cylinders two funnels filter paper and water in a beaker first we are going to place the funnel inside the measuring cylinder we'll fold the filter paper and put it inside the funnel we'll place the other filter paper in the other funnel and then we are going to transfer the soil samples into each funnel the first is the soil sample taken from garden site and the second is the road site soil it is transferred into the second funnel now we will put water into it and while putting water we have to make sure that slowly the water has to be transferred into the funnel so that it drips down slowly through the funnel we can see the water dripping down in the measuring cylinder slowly we are going to add water in the first funnel and we are going to repeat it the same thing with the second funnel so slowly we will put the water in the second funnel also so that it is able to drip down slowly once the water starts to drip down then we are going to leave this setup for some time at least for 10 minutes when the water stops dripping down then we are going to remove the funnel and note down the reading note down the water amount of water that is present inside the measuring cylinder we have to carefully note down the observation the amount of water in both the Outside. cylinders water holding capacity of the soil aim collect and study soil from at least two different sites and study them for water holding capacity correlate with the kinds of plants found in them materials required soil samples from two different sites road site and garden soil two measuring cylinders two funnels filter paper beaker water theory soil is the uppermost layer of the earth containing humus organic matter soil is a mixture of organic matter minerals gases liquids and organisms that together support life soil contains mineral matter organic matter water and air water holding capacity is the ability of a certain soil texture to physically hold water against the force of gravity procedure put both the funnels in the two measuring cylinders put the filter papers in the funnel add the two soil samples in the two funnels add 100 ml of water in both the funnels let the water percolate down through the funnel and wait for some time record the volume of filtered out water in the measuring cylinder when the dripping of water stops from the funnel observation observe the level of water in the two cylinders soil type garden soil weight of soil 100 g volume of water 100 ml volume of water collected in the measuring cylinder 76 ml volume of water retained in the soil 24 ml water holding capacity of the soil in percentage that means y minus z upon x into 100 Similarly we are going to note down the observation of the roadside soil 100 g soil 100 ml water added 81 ml water present in the measuring cylinder 19 ml water retained by the soil 
moisture content water holding capacity 19% that means y minus z upon x into x into 100 result the soil sample from roadside has less water holding capacity the soil sample from the garden has more water holding capacity precautions add the water slowly in the soil in the funnel record the volume of water collected in the funnel carefully why the questions which soil has more water holding capacity which soil has less water holding capacity why there is a difference